So you're feeling peckish in London, you want something to eat for lunch? Sandwich, bowl of soup, burger, slice of pizza, forget all that. How about a bowl of cereal? It's almost time for cereal. Yes, you heard right. This is one of London's two serial killer cafes, started by Irish twin brothers Alan and Gary Keery, who came up with the idea after a night on the tear. Um, well, we were, um, we were out one day in Shoreditch and we were hungover and we thought, oh, wouldn't it be nice just to go for a bowl of cereal? So we had a Google and we thought, right, where can you get a bowl of cereal? Shoreditch, realised nowhere in Shoreditch, nowhere in London, nowhere in the UK, nowhere in Europe, all apart from a supermarket. And then we kind of thought, well, it just seems strange that so many people eat cereal every day, but it's, there's nowhere else to enjoy it apart from at home. Yeah, you just needed something wet and solid at the same time. Yeah. You need that sugar to pick you up again. I definitely think some of the best ideas come from hangovers, but also some of the worst as well. The Belfast boys had such an urge for a bowl of cereal, and not being able to sit down and have one anywhere, it gave them an idea to open their own cereal cafe. Having an idea when you're hungover and in a bit of a fragile state is one thing, but then actually implementing it and making it happen is another thing. So, how did you begin? I think we were just so excited about that idea that it just gave us the motivation because we wanted to go to a place that just sold cereal so much that that's what just gave us the motivation. So we just then, I went and done a small business course just to learn the, the basics and starting up a business. And then we just started writing a business plan. Did people not tell you this is crazy? It's, it's a funny idea, it's quirky, but you'll never make any money out of this. Yeah, I think one of the first business advisors we got after, after speaking to, after that small business course, we got assigned a business advisor and he says, you're nuts. There's no way that will ever work. No one will ever eat cereal after 10 o'clock in the morning. You need to sell sandwiches. And he's like, well, you wouldn't tell a sushi restaurant that they need to sell burgers. So why would you tell a cereal restaurant that they need to sell anything else? Well, the guys were determined and so set up the Serial Killer Cafe and now have two in London, selling over 120 different brands of cereal from all over the world. What's the most unusual cereal you have in there? We get strange cereals from all over the world. We've got, um, we've got one cut from South Korea. It's a um, sweet potato flavoured Special K. So I mean, that one's pretty strange. We've got cereals that taste like ice cream, um, rainbow sherbet ice cream. We've got cereals that um, have got pop and candy in them. We just did it. It's crazy the kind of cereals that you can get. The Cereal Cafe is the first of its kind and has really captured the imagination of the people who come to visit. Immediately from the day we opened, we had queues for about an hour and a half from people wanting to get in, right up till 10 o'clock at night. There's a real excitement around it, with people sharing their visits online. We're at Brick Lane right now, we're about to go try the new Cereal Cafe. Apparently it's amazing, there's like a million different cereals to try from. I went for um, Lucky Charms, chocolate ones, some cinnamony things. But it hasn't all been plain sailing for the brothers. When they first opened, they were targeted by an angry mob who were protesting about increased prices in the area. Well, we had 200 people turn up at our cafe in Shoreditch, um, throwing paint bombs at the cafe with um, torches of fire, pig's heads and pitchforks. It was like something from like the dark ages, like a, it was like a total witch hunt, but they're, I mean, they're protesting against gentrification of East London, um, and how there are some people that can't afford to come into our cafe because we sell, because of the prices that we charge for it. I mean, we charge, our cereal started at 2.50. We're from Belfast, so we've seen stupid mindless violence before, and you kind of just have to, you know, stay strong and just carry on what you're doing. Yeah. The protest passed, and it was business as usual the very next day. And the brothers have big plans for the business, including expanding all over the world. Well, we've opened two cafes in London, and we, now the, um, our focus is going to be kind of on our international franchises. So we're going to be um, looking at, I mean, we've had requests from all over the world, everywhere from America to Australia, even Uganda, we've had people wanting to open. So, you know, we're looking at that now and just really trying to expand the business internationally. Guys, it's plain to see that you really love what you do and you have a passion for this business. So what is it you love about it? Do you know what, the thing that pleases me so much is when you're in the cafe and there's someone, come, someone comes in and they just have this look of pure excitement on their face like, oh my God, this is the best idea ever. And just causing someone to, just, just to have that emotion just feels really good. I mean, we had a letter from a woman from, East Lon or from West London that says that life in London can be very dreary sometimes. And she said, but she'll save up for days out with her son and bring her son over to, to the cafe in Shoreditch. And she said, walking into the cafe, is like walking into the Wizard of Oz. It's like going from black and white into Technicolor and she just loves loves that. And that, to me, getting letters like that and things is just amazing. 